Well, hello everyone, this is Byron King with Investor Intel coming to you from Toronto, Ontario and the PDAC conference, the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada, the big convention. I'm here today right now with Pat Ryan, the CEO of UCOR, U-C-O-R-E. Uh, they are in the rare earth business and you've probably heard the, a few companies are in the rare earth business. UCOR has taken it to the edge of technology. Uh, Pat, hello, it's great to be with you. Tell every what is going on with UCOR. Not that not that we don't already know some of us. Yeah, absolutely. We've uh, you know, you've heard some of the news. Uh, we started a couple of years ago realizing that the mid market for critical metal separation refining, particularly with rare earth, was a real sweet spot. That was what was needed outside of China to develop an ex-China supply chain, a metallic supply chain that would feed the electrification of vehicles, it would feed the wind energy of the future, uh, new. Uh, uh, high energy motors and whatnot, and you need rare earth elements to get that done. But the thing missing in North America, uh, and a lot of ex-China, is that critical mid-market processing. So we, we said, you know what, let's get the right tech, let's go to mid-market processing and then focus on the downstream, let the miners do the mining. And really we've become a, uh, an innovation uh, a tech company as opposed to a mining company of old where we had a resource, and now we're really focused on processing and innovation. And now that is something out there in, in viewer land, that's something you need to understand. UCOR is not in the mining business, and they're not an end user like an, automo like an automobile company or an electronics company. They are in the midsection where you're taking the, you know, the ore, the concentrate, and you're taking that concentrate and you're actually turning it into the metals and the, uh, the, uh, the, the elements that the magnet makers need. There is nobody outside of China who is doing that, certainly for the heavy rare earths. Is that a fair assessment of where we stand? Yeah, very, very fair. I mean, we're doing that at a commercial demo scale right now. So we started with a pilot facility, a lab sort of level. Two years ago, we bought a company, Innovation Metals Corp. And we invested close to $10 million on taking that technology known as Rapid SX. Uh, it's based on the principles of chemistry of solvent extraction, but you're applying um, kinetics and physics that much more effectively such that you get an output that's uh, three to seven to five times greater than what a solvent extraction uh, loop might do. Uh, you get a, a smaller footprint, you get uh, a better, um, uh, be better throughput, better OPEX, better CAPEX, and that's very substantial. We're trying to break into a market and make sure that it happens effectively. And, and China controls, as you know, Byron, 90% uh, of the separation technology in particular for rare earth elements. In particular for the rare earth elements, yes, China controls it. And the, 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 the astonishing thing about UCOR is that you have brought it to the point where literally you have, you are, and I saw this the other day, just full disclosure, I visited the project in Kingston, Ontario. It's a, the size of a, a, about a tennis court, I would say, and maybe 20 feet, 20 feet high, seven meters or so high in a, in a room. And you are processing at this commercial demonstration scale, you are processing you know, raw concentrate and you are able to get the exact elements out, not just some mix or some melange, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We've built a commercial demo plant that's processing tens of tons of rare earth concentrate right now. And in North America, no one is separating heavy rare earth concentrate. We're doing that. We're moving forward with separating heavy rare earth. We're separating the lights. At some point, we'll be separating NDPR into NDNPR. You're familiar how the SX circuitry works. And so we're, yeah, you're right. A tennis court that's about 16 feet high made that way because we wanted to make sure that that, that commercial demonstration plan, gathering metrics and creating specifications that an automotive company or a wind energy company could count on or a magnet company could then be translated into a commercial production facility. So take the engineering and upscale. And then that's why you saw the size that you saw. It, it took uh, a, lo a lot of uh, engineering horsepower, a lot of uh, smart people that pulled it together, and, and you saw it. I, and I met your horsepower, I'm your, I, no offense, I met your people who are, they are smart people, you have incredible people working there. I, I met these people, we spent all day together uh, in this you know, tennis court sized uh, uh, plant. Now the next step is, I think we, we can say you're going to take it down to uh, the Bayou State of Louisiana there, aren't you? That's correct, yeah. Um, you know, the whole thing here, and you and I have talked about this, Byron, is that uh, at the end of the day, markets don't buy anything, customers buy things. And so in, in looking at the landscape of our customers that we're in discussions with, they've said, hey, here's our build plan. Here's what we need in 2025, 26, 27. Here's what we need in late 24. So you've got to satisfy customers, not markets. And, and the, the critical metals that are coming behind need to catch up with that demand from the customer. 
So yeah, we, we investigated uh, around North America. We landed on the Gulf Coast for several reasons. One was the inbound uh, ocean freight, a lot of rail traffic that comes through, and Louisiana specifically because they have a big chemical trade down there. They have a lot of really skilled people that have worked sporadically in the offshore industry, oil industry for quite some time, and now they want steady, permanent jobs. And we're ramping up from a 2,000 ton to a 3,800 ton to a 5,000 ton, and, and possibly a little bigger, rare earth oxide, for real customers that need to then direct source it to their magnet makers and, and do what needs to get done. And when you talk about real customers, we're talking customers like automobile makers who, who right. need this stuff by the, by, by the massive volumes, is that correct? Correct, yeah. As you know, I've had a career in the automotive industry, uh, founded a tier one automotive company uh, 27 years ago and, and understand how that whole platform works. So yeah, uh, automotive companies that have put forth uh, close to, I think, $700 billion in investments right now for electrification, they need critical metals. And there are six times more critical metals in an EV than there are in an internal combustion engine vehicle. And we're there as a first mover to make that happen. And so it's March of 2023. You have a time frame that will actually be producing metals by when, would you say? It's we'll be producing rare earth separated oxides that go to a metal maker, that go to a magnet maker. We're targeting the end of 24. So Q4, end of 24, we're looking to be in business producing in Louisiana. Um, a lot of support coming from the state. They put forth uh, $16 million in incentives at this point. Uh, we're in discussions with the uh, federal government as well to try to sort out how that fits. We have offtakes with these automotive companies I, I spoke of. We're in final negotiations with a couple of them to figure out how that um, will fund forward. And at the end of the day, Byron, you know, it's not just about the customers, but if you have a sound economic plan, you've got good technology to make it happen, then the second thing you need is really good people, and you saw them, you, uh, people from Kingston Process Metallurgy who are, are fantastic chemists and metallurgists, Mechchem out of New England who are, have built chemical plants all over the world, quite frankly, focused on North America mostly, and the third is financing. And because of the technology rapid SX, for $55 million, you're building a 5,000 ton plant in a brownfield building. And that was one of our focuses in Louisiana. Let's find a building that we can take what we did in Kingston and plug it into that building. So yes. And so there we are. We're going to wrap it up at this point. UCOR, uh, it, they, they have a website, they have a presentation. Take a look at them. They trade on the TSX Venture, they trade on the USOTC, and, on, and then you can buy shares in Europe. But UCOR is where it's at in terms of producing metals soon. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Byron.